welcome again so on your demand I received so many messages of my subscribers that so kindly tell me how how we can create a virtual machine like you told us in last video your next video will be how to create a virtual machine in a zoo website so kindly tell us right away so that's why it's a time I'm going to provide you how you can create a virtual machine on uh, on your PC on your laptop so here we go so guys I already signed up on my account okay so you don't have to worry about that a sign up process is very simple just you have to uh, a create your like add your email address on your outlook first of all you have must ha the first requirement is you must have the outlook email address or a hotmail email address the both things are same on the same website you can use that and the second requirement you must have a credit or debit card to attach with your uh, azure account okay and the third thing is uh, you must have your like uh, you must have your phone or your phone number to just to verify your phone number just to verify for the security purpose only okay so I'm just going to log in my account so I want to log in on incognito browser like control shift N. that will open your incognito and I will simply go on Google okay here I will type uh, Azure that's the ad you see here 80 it's mean that's the ad so well it uh, doesn't matter that's the website I have to open okay so it's opening here create your Azure account free but I don't want to create it I as I told you I'd already created if you want to uh, get any e if you don't know how to create an account on Azure just comment me down below so I will tell you how you can create Azure account as well it's not a problem so well guys uh, I'm so sorry for that I think my internet a little bit slow but uh, let's try here um, open a new page azure.com azure account okay so azure account is opening here sign into your azure okay here I find out I don't know why it's very slow what's going on azure dot sign in azure dot com website in launched opening I don't know yeah it's open here here you find our option sign in I just simply click on that okay here I will write my email and my password oh so sorry for that my password don't yeah I want to straight log in here you will get your Azure account open. Okay, so now what you have to do, you have to open a portal where you can create a Azure uh, virtual machine. So simply from here, as I told you, my internet is very slow. I will directly open my portal just by typing here P O R portal P O R tal portal azure when you type here you will open the see that on the bottom you will see azure portal you will simply open to azure portal oh gosh i don't know what's going on here it's not opening let me try again go that link and portal.azure.com it's signing in down. Yeah. Okay, so my portal is opening now. Okay, to create a virtual machine, first of all, you have to go a virtual machine, and here you can create. But before that, I want to see my subscription. So what is a subscription 
this all payment method things are available in the subscription like the card you added and each and everything if your subscri uh, subscription get disabled you cannot able to use your account anymore it means your account is deactivated you are terminated from the azure so first of all i have to open a subscription and here you can see my active status is active and my current cost is updating when it get update i will let you know you can see here my current cost is 0, 0.00 so all good so far and let's create a virtual machine here you can find a virtual machine option click on virtual machine create a new create machine that's the simple step guys so don't don't get confused when you are creating that don't do anything like okay so first of all you have to create a resource group create new I want to create a resource group group one I just name it group one okay next you have to create uh, like you have to give a name to your virtual machine so I want to put a watch zero one okay that's the name and on the second region region you can select the region from here and here you can select the image want to select the image image mean which window you need which service you need like I want to use the window 10 and the most important thing the size here you can select the RAM and the CPU and the things you want to use which space you want to use in your PC so I want to use a large amount of RAM and CPU so like my requirement is RAM at least I will put here a filter from here you can put some filter here so I need at least amount of custom from custom you can write out here your RAM so I need at least 24 GB RAM 24 24 okay and here you add a uh, 8 processor 8 CPU you need it and here I will find out the price per month premium da uh, disk supported or not temporarily uh, temporary storage okay so you will find out here each and everything so I will click on that one I will pay 365 seven dollar per month select on that now now here I have to add my username and password okay again you have to type your username and password okay now confirm press on next again click on next and again click on next and again click on next next you can read out all these information bef don't copy me you have to read out all this information as well but uh, the major change is only on basics you don't have to do anything else if you want to run a simple Azure server Azure AWS or Azure virtual machine so just do that simple thing uh, at last it will review all your setting if the all information will be correct then it will give you a take sign here and it shows validation correct you can see that just wait here for a few seconds and you will see the option okay guys the validation is passed now you can create your virtual machine and here you can see the cost you will get overly like I will have I will charge 0 0.5040 dollar per hour okay so that how you have to create create 
click on create and your will Azure is creating now it's gonna take like few minutes guys let's see so now it's opening a development is in progress okay so development is in progress and it will complete very soon it's like only gonna take like one or two minutes only let's see Well guys again if you like my video if you enjoy my video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and on the next video I can show you how can you open your uh, RDP or virtual machine of Azure. So after that I will explain you a little bit only where you get the IP address and where you get the all information of your Azure. So I'm just going to pause the, the video when it's complete I will back with you. Ok guys so my virtual machine is created you can see that that's the same account and each and everything is 100% same. Your development is complete and here I will go on go to resources you can see that I will find out all information here that's my IP address my username and <laughs> pause but everything will be available here so that's it guys for today have a great day if you like my video don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video have a great day